how to make a WooCommerce checkout list like Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can make your checkout look like Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, let me just show you. If I come over here, I go to over to my site, right? This is my site. And let's just assume that we're trying to buy something over here. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, see what I want to buy. If I click on purchase a gift now or click on shop now. Okay, I think my website is down right now. Uh, give me a few seconds i need to uh fix this real quick okay sorry about that so this is my store right here and let's just assume that we're trying to buy this so if i click on add to cart all right it's added to cart and if i click on view cart and i click on proceed to checkout this is the checkout right here it's pretty simple it's really basic this is pretty dated checkout list right like over here on the left side you have your billing details you have your address your email address and on the right side you have your order summary so it looks pretty simple it looks pretty basic now how do we change it well there are basically two methods so method number one we go back over here onto our dashboard real quick in plugins we click on plugins and we install two plugins all right we click on add new and in add new we search for Vulenter. we search for this plugin right here as you can see this one is it by has themes the first one that pops up and we just simply click on install and once it's installed we activate it wait a couple of seconds for it to be activated and once it's activated boom there we go now over here as you can see we have a bunch of different options we have general we have woocommerce template elements modules styles and extensions so you can go ahead and install if you want this but for now for the sake of this video we're going to go into the module section over here and over here we have a bunch of different options so we have shopify style checkout so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here into the settings we're going to click on uh enable all right and we have a logo if you want to add a logo and then you have bottom menu over here if you want to add one hide cart navigation hide shipping steps rename labels if you want to have those you can do that but once you have done it just simply click on save changes and once it's done we go back to our checkout website over here to checkout list and we reload the page and boom as you can see it's much much more cleaner so instead of all those different types of uh things that they were asking us now we only have a bunch of different options we have our email address over here at the top which is much more you know reasonable we have our billing address down below and then we have continue to payment and then over here on the left side we have our summary and our coupon code and our total so as you can see it's much much more simpler it's much much more cleaner and it's easy to use so this is very very fun so as you can see the difference was day and night so let me just show you if i turn it off again if i reload the page all right so as you can see uh okay i guess it didn't work i guess this is permanent now yeah it's permanent now okay so now what we can do is we can try method number two so this was method number one pretty easy right just install this one and turn on shopify style checkout and then your website will be done now let's go with method number two so for method number two we want to go back into the plugin section all right we want to disable woolenter so over here is woolenter we want to deactivate it right so we have you know uh deactivated woolenter right now what we want is we want to go into the add new plugins over here into the plugin store and we want to search for woocommerce blocks all right so as you can see this is it this is the plugin right here woocommerce blocks by automatic and once that's done we can go ahead and install it wait a couple of seconds for it to be installed and once it's installed we can go ahead and move on so once it's installed just simply activate it and then we move over to the next part of this website there we go now it's installed now we go ahead and activate it and as you can see it's activated over here now to actually use this what we want to do is let me just show you real quick let me just reload the page all right we're back to the old outdated woocommerce checkout all right so now what we need to do is we need to go into pages all right we need to go into the checkout page and we need to click on edit so that we can edit this page and the checkout page is very simple to edit it's just this short code that's over here and that's pretty much it so what we need to do is we need to delete this short code let me just go ahead and remove that and once that's done boom there we go now let's go ahead and click on add a new code and we scroll down at the bottom to find the woocommerce uh you know checkout so over here is gonna be let me just find it where is it? it should be over here here we go check out so we'll just click over here 
and we'll drop it over here so as you can see this is how it looks like all right so over here as you can see on the left hand we have a bunch of different options all right we have a bunch of different information options contact shipping and then we have shipping options we have payment options you know and over here on the top right side we have our order summary so let's just go ahead and do that so to edit this out now this isn't going to be exactly like the shopify you know checkout store but it's gonna look a little bit better so over here this is the contact information all right this is where people are going to add in their email address which is what we want and then in the shipping address uh, you can see we have a bunch of different options that we can change so we have apartment suit we have phone number so as you can see it looks much more cleaner but I think that we would actually want the phone number to contact the person that has ordered you know products or stuff like that so as you can see it's optional and you can make it mandatory you can make it required if you want you can also ask for the apartment suite and company name as well so it all depends on you and the same with shipping address over here as you can see we can change a lot of things but you can have a bunch of different options and then we have these we have cash on delivery check payments and right and bank direct bank transfer so you can go ahead and change all of that but for now i think this looks good we should be able to just you know rely on this one so let me just go ahead and remove the phone number as well and once you have edited out once you have everything set up just simply click on update right now this was the page right here let me just go ahead and reload it all right so as you can see the checkout page is much much more cleaner as you can see we have our email address over here at the top which is pretty you know simple and then we have our you know billing address and then we have our payment option and then boom we have our uh you know order summary over here so it's pretty simple it's really easy and this is how you basically do it these were the two methods that i showed you one is pretty easy i would say you don't get a lot of editing option and uh, the second one is you would have to also install a plugin but also have to do a little bit of editing yourself but it's not that much so let me just go back to my dashboard real quick so it's really simple it's really easy thank you guys for watching and i do hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful and entertaining in some ways and you guys now know how to do it so having said that that is it for this video guys and if you liked this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and make sure to turn on your notification bell because if you do that not only will you be helping us out but you'll also be getting daily alerts of whenever we upload our videos we upload daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content so just make sure to hit the bell icon and uh, you'll be notified and you'll be able to consume your daily dose of tech videos and other gadgets and other tools that can help you run or scale your business so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye